It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the ninth day of September. I'm James Spann. The weather wet at times through Friday. And then get ready for the coolest air so far this young fall season by the weekend. Sounds pretty good. Let's go in there and check it out. Moist air mass in place across the state. Over in the eastern Pacific, that is Hurricane Linda. High altitude moisture from that. Coming across Texas and becoming entrained in a surface front up toward the Great Lakes. A look at the radar early this morning. That was the radar at 5.06. You can see a few showers around uh, northeast Alabama, parts of Randolph and Etowah, Calhoun, Cherokee counties moving to the west. And we'll expect to see a number of showers around uh, later today on radar. Starting off the day in the low 70s, the high today will be in the 80s. Around the nation, seeing some cool 40s up north. And I think we're going to see some 40s down here by Monday morning of next week. And the cooler pockets by Monday, that's uh, going to feel pretty good if you're a fall weather fan. Severe weather possibilities later today and tonight. A couple of marginal risks well to the north. And tomorrow, again, a marginal risk out across the heartland in advance of that surface front. We could clearly see some thunder here, but organized severe weather not expected. Same thing on day three, which is Friday. This is the rain for the next five days. This goes through Monday morning, but all of this rain will basically come between now and Saturday morning for most of the state. Rain amounts about one inch. Tropical weather, new tropical depression on the board, TD number eight. That thing's out in the Atlantic east of Bermuda, and Grace is still just hanging on, barely. Look at the track on TD eight. That'll be moving north. Possibly reaching tropical storm strength today, but then becoming post-tropical uh, as it gets over the colder water and hooking off to the east. May be affecting Nova Scotia, but not, not the United States. And uh, Grace, I don't think it survives the next 24 hours. It should uh, dissipate well before reaching the Leeward Islands. So onward we go to model output. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. Troughing west of the state, moist air will expect scattered to numerous showers and storms this afternoon. The high in the mid to upper 80s, much like yesterday. Not going to rain all day, the sun out at times, but just be ready for the occasional passing tropical shower. This is the high res H triple R today at 5. Radar won't look exactly like that, but something like that. Tomorrow, again, showers and thunderstorms are likely with highs in the low and mid 80s. And pretty much the same thing on Friday. Uh, pretty decent chance of showers and storms for the high school football games. We definitely recommend taking some rain gear, not a washout. Some stadiums could be dry, but uh, no doubt in this kind of pattern, having something to keep the rain off your head would be a good thing. And ooh, look at Saturday. What a trough over the east. You know that's going to bring down some cool air. This is the uh, precipitable water Saturday at one o'clock and, uh, uh, the, the the surface front now is with the GFS lines more with the European. Uh, it's down there closer to US 80. So while there could be a stray shower Saturday morning, maybe over North Alabama, we think the afternoon will be dry for the northern counties of the state. The sky becoming partly to mostly sunny with a good north breeze and lower humidity. For football, I think the Alabama game that kicks off at 3 in Tuscaloosa should be dry. Now, Auburn kicks off at 11. They play Jacksonville State at Jordan-Hare. There could be some showers maybe for the first half of that game, but the second half more than likely will be dry. And again, it should be a very comfortable day. And then Sunday, we'll stick with the precipitable water, and you can see how all of the state is in dry air. That's going to be a gorgeous day. Bright sunshine. We start the day in the 50s, the high only in the middle 70s. Really nice. And this is Monday. Monday morning will be the coolest morning. Uh, most spots in the low 50s with 40s for the cooler pockets. How about that? Tuesday looks good. We stay dry. Then this is Wednesday of next week, a week from today. The uh, trough is obviously lifted out. Moisture starts to creep back, and this is suggesting maybe a chance of showers again by Wednesday of next week. Into the forecast, this is Friday, September 18th. Troughing coming through with a surface front. That's suggesting maybe the end of next week could be wet. We'll check the European. You know, yesterday it showed a, a hurricane south of Morgan City, Louisiana on Friday the 18th. Well, this run doesn't. Now, it's got a broad low down there. It's trying to tell us something. 
but again, the, the, the hurricane is off the board on this run. But but again, it's it's talking to us, and I do think that's a valid idea. We'll need to watch the backyard, the Gulf of Mexico, for homegrown systems uh, this month and next month as well. Hey, hey, look at those numbers coming down. How about a high Sunday of 71? This is the ensemble data for Birmingham, and it's got us down to 51 early Monday. Yes, sir. And pretty comfortable next week with mostly low 80s and lows mostly in the low 60s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.